Hey everyone, Eli here, and on this video, I wanna show you exactly what I would do if I had to start my real estate photography business over again in 2022. And while most of it remains the same as I would have done in the past, there are a couple things that have changed that I think will really help you if you know. This video is gonna be a five tips format because there's really five things I think I would do and five things I would make sure to do if I was starting my business. So jumping right into it with tip number one, if I was starting a real estate photography business again, I would make sure not to focus on luxury and only go for luxury clients. This is something that continues to stand true since I started eight years ago, which is most of the money in real estate photography is not as crazy as it sounds in the luxury houses. While you may get paid more to shoot a luxury house, they are not nearly as common, and so it's much harder to find agents that list luxury houses, and it leads to a lot of inconsistency. With the standard houses that we shoot, we're able to repeat repeatedly shoot four to five houses a day. That's a busy schedule, but we have the volume to handle four to five shoots a day per photographer, and we get somewhere around 200 bucks a house minimum. So you can see that that makes for a pretty good day. And it's even better when you think that it's realistically possible to do that every business day. I know a lot of photographers that are able to make $150,000, $200,000 a year themselves because of the consistency that shooting standard residential real estate provides. I'm gonna actually link a couple case studies below that I did with my students. Cam Bronson, I'll probably link a third one as well that I think goes along this topic, showing you how fast and how powerful it can be if you shoot standard homes using the methods that I teach and that I will continue to teach in this video specifically. So tip number one, don't chase luxury. It is a dead end and there's so many photographers trying to compete with you to get those luxury listings. Tip number two is do not waste your money, especially when you're starting on the nicest gear out there. That is an absolute trap and it's something so many photographers do wrong. You know, most photographers, when they're getting into the business, they want one, the highest quality gear they can get. And so they wait to get started until they can afford that gear, which usually never happens because in order to afford nice gear, you have to have paying clients or you got to work long hours at your other job. So stick with the gear that makes sense from a cost to value standpoint. If you want a full list of the gear we use, as well as a video explaining that gear, check the description of this video. I have that linked there. Kind of along the same lines in, in tip number two is that most photographers then, once they get that nice gear that they've saved up forever to buy. They spend all their time learning how to get the best results out of it and no time finding clients. So I'll cover that in another tip. Make sure to get the gear that's the most efficient. The gear I recommend and use at my photo company is listed in the description. Tip number three is I would not even consider using a flash in 2022. There's a lot of photography videos out there that are now dated at this point because they came out a while ago saying that in order to get good real estate photos, you need to use a flash. Flash. That is absolutely not true these days. In fact, I've never used a flash in my company over the last eight years, but I especially would not use one now. And the 3,500 students in our course that are successful don't use flashes either. It's just a waste of time today. The dynamic ranges that newer cameras have, even lower end newer cameras is so good that if you properly bracket, which I'll teach you more about in a second, you don't even need to use a flash. There's no point in it. Our real estate photos, and I'll have a video linked below where if you wanna learn more about this process, you can do that. Our real estate photos are made using three bracketed photos, and it's done automatically in our cameras. We take one that's underexposed, one middle exposure, and one overexposed photo. We blend them together, and it gets awesome results that are really impossible to tell apart from flash results, but it takes like 10% of the amount of time to use our method. It's much cheaper because you don't have to buy a flash, and it's much easier to learn, which I think is the most important thing. So tip number three, do not use a flash. Don't watch a six-year-old YouTube video that tells you to use a flash and think that's how people that are professional that are making money in this do it today because it is absolutely not the case. And tip number four is focus all of your time on getting clients. Once you have the basics down about how to shoot real estate, which doesn't take most people, especially those that join my course longer than a day or two, your whole focus becomes getting clients. I kind of mentioned this earlier, but so many photographers go wrong because they spend all their time, because the industry tells you this, they spend all their time focusing on gear and photo quality. And the industry tells you that if you get better at that, the clients will come, but that's not true at all. That's not what the people, again, reference those case studies below and watch those. That's not what the people who are successful in my group do. They spend a lot of time getting clients using a very specific method that we call the Instagram method. So it doesn't really matter how you do it. Just know that getting clients and actively marketing yourself 
is something that will help you become successful and focusing only on photo quality is something that will leave you not successful ever. It just doesn't work like that in business. If you wanna learn more about the exact strategy I mentioned, which is how I get clients and how I teach my students to get clients, check out the workshop linked below. It's basically a longer form of this video that goes more in depth and it shares you the exact strategy. All you have to do is put in your email to watch that workshop. It's free, it's an hour long, and it's highly valuable. And tip number five is know what to outsource. In any business, especially today, when everything's gotten more complicated, our economy is more specialized, being a jack of all trades will get you zero results, even if you're specifically niched in real estate. And what I mean by that is a lot of people are never successful because they do all the marketing themselves, they do all the shooting themselves, they do all the editing themselves. This is a big one and it's the one everybody should do from the start and they're never able to grow. And I understand that when you're first starting a business, you have to do it all, but you don't have to do the editing. You're gonna have to do the marketing, you're gonna have to do the shooting, but the editing is the first thing you should get off your plate. Your very first shoot should not be edited by you. And there's two reasons for this. Number one, editing is the hard part. It takes the longest to learn. It has the most experience needed. It, it's something that you can't just do well from day one. So if you try to edit your first shoot to save the money, I'll talk about it in, a, in a second, it's gonna be worse. It's not gonna be as good for your clients. It's gonna leave a bad first impression for those clients that you work so hard to get. So you definitely wanna, for that reason, outsource it. But the second reason, like I mentioned, the results will be better from day one and that is very important. Here's the thing, it's really easy to outsource your photos. All you gotta do is follow the method we teach, which is the three bracket formula and outsource them to a company. I have one linked below that we personally use and recommend, and you'll probably pay about a dollar a photo. So if you charge 150, 120, depends on your market, 190 per shoot, you're gonna spend maybe 30 bucks outsourcing, and that is well worth it. Not only do you save the time having to learn how to edit yourself, but number two, you're never gonna be as good as the people that work at the company I have linked below or any outsourcing company who do this for a living and have done it for years. Outsourcing your photos is a good way to instantly be a professional when it comes to the quality you deliver, and you'll be so shocked how easy it is to shoot real estate, but how hard it is to edit. And so you want to outsource source your editing. Just a quick story that I think is hilarious. We had a student join our course and she shot her very first house and she outsourced the editing of that house and she sent them to the client and the client was like crazy about how they, much they love these photos. So much so that the person she was working with uh, has a contact with a magazine and that magazine wanted to feature her photos in a magazine. So her first shoot was featured in a magazine. Now, does it matter to be featured in a magazine? No, but it does tell that those photos were so good on her first shoot that they someone wanted them to be in a magazine. She didn't seem amateur, even though it was her very first shoot. So the biggest tip I can give you in this whole video is outsource your photos. Like I said earlier, if you wanna learn more about how to shoot real estate and watch a longer form uh, version of this video where I go way more into depth, there's a link below to that workshop. And also, if you wanna just jump straight into my course, Real Estate Photographer Pro, there's a link below where you can get a YouTube discount automatically when you click that link. The course has a full 30-day money-back policy, so check it out. It's gonna help you get so much further ahead because it's taking eight years of knowledge at this point and 10 years that I've been in business and condensing it into an awesome course. So check that out below, get the YouTube discount, and I'll see you in the course.